Welcome back. Last week, we took you along the Captain Cook Highway from Cairns to Cape Tribulation and all the spots in between. This week, we're going up to the Tablelands where we try to tackle five waterfalls in three days. Okay, so we just finished up a few days in Cairns, uh, just running some general errands and doing some life admin stuff, and now we are at a free camp off the side of the highway for some adventures tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow we've got our, we're heading up into the Tablelands, so this is, we're just staying at a free camp, just at sort of the base of the Tablelands. Uh, so we're going to get up stupidly early tomorrow to then drive up into the Tablelands and we're going to do Wind and Falls tomorrow. Um, this is an awesome little hike that goes to the top of the waterfall and looks due east, so you get to see beautiful sunrise. We can't say no, so what a way to start it off. We're going to do that one first up, so again, early to bed because we've got a really big day tomorrow. It's about 10 kilometres return, so a pretty decent hike as well. Um, so yeah, definitely a really early start to start our waterfall extravaganza. <laughs> There's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. I'm always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes we're gonna have to lose. <laughs> got back so of course time for a coffee but a little fun fact of the day is the reason why there are so many waterfalls in such a small area is because it's up on like a whole mountain range basically that was formed by i believe six volcanoes that have erupted between like one and ten million years ago to create this whole like raised mountain range tablelands and then being so tropical it gets so much rain that it produces so many waterfalls in a tiny tiny area which is awesome for us because it means we get to go waterfall hopping over three days, which is insane. So tomorrow we've got our uh, the waterfall circuit, which is probably the more famous one. It's the one that basically you can drive up to and see. So it's not exactly our cup of tea. However, they are really beautiful, so we've got to check them out. But because of that, we just want to get them done. So we'll uh, we'll have a little look tomorrow morning. Get up early to beat everyone, of course. Morning. Hello. Stop one of our rainforest waterfall extravaganza is this beautiful thing. Look at that. Oh. 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 <laughs> Miller Miller Falls, the famous Miller Miller Falls, and it's stunning. Beautiful. This is a waterfall that's used in a lot of hair commercials, apparently. It's probably the most picturesque waterfall yeah. we've ever seen. Beautiful. And you literally drive straight up here. So, 
Tick that off the list, we got three to go. <laughs> Now on our way to our second stop, which is Zilli Falls. It's about eight or nine k's away from Mila Mila, and it takes you, the trail takes you directly to the top of the waterfall. Pretty excited. wrapped up the three waterfalls in the morning definitely can do it in like an hour or so yeah crazy short time yeah uh, i think our favorite would probably have to be mila mila just because it's so picturesque and so beautiful but it is probably the most crowded one as well so get there early if you don't want anyone else to be there yeah um but yeah it was pretty easy you just pretty much drive up to all of them so it wasn't yeah. much effort on our end at all but definitely good to still see it yeah definitely you definitely have to do it yeah i think yeah super picturesque but as we said it's not exactly our cup of tea so we had wind and falls on day one and now on day three we're doing nandroya falls so we've got the campsite here just in the national park makes it easy the trailhead starts here so we're just gonna have a pretty chill evening as always cook a little dinner early to bed early to rise <laughs> and we'll take you along for nandroya falls tomorrow Good morning. morning. We just woke up, had some coffee. We had a pretty rough sleep last night because a, <laughs> a mouse got into Vance somehow. Our first mouse. Oh my gosh. So we were up all night trying to find it and get it out. And we still don't really know if we got him out or not. Think he's out. Um, so fingers crossed, but we're still feeling pretty good. Had a good coffee in us and ready to go. Yeah. So we're doing uh, Nandroya Falls today, which is only a short hike. It's like 2.2 Ks there. So each way. Um, but it's supposed to be pretty beautiful. There's a really big single um, drop waterfall and there's also a cascade falls just below it. So we're keen to check it out. Come and have a look.
just finished up. That was so much cooler than I thought it would be. Yeah, way, way better. Way better than we thought. Yeah, super easy hike there and back. Not long at all. Definitely a must see if you're in the area. Yeah, beautiful. The two are so close to each other. It's just such a cool, just a whole cool area. And it seems like it's not as well known either because we didn't really see anybody and we didn't even have an early start really. <laughs> so that concludes, I guess, all the waterfalls that we're going to see <laughs> yeah. in this trip. That was the last one we figured out. I think that's the last one we're going to intentionally see until somewhere in the middle of Australia. So who knows when that's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we waterfalled out. We've seen so many in such a short <laughs> period of time. We're like, eh, yeah, that's all right. So I hope you enjoyed our waterfall crawl. <laughs> <laughs> definitely recommend. All of them are definitely worth seeing. Uh, we'll also do a video summarizing all of the waterfalls in Queensland, just sort of rating them and how, which ones you should definitely see, but they're all so beautiful for their own reasons. So definitely write these ones down. Yeah. And we'll catch you on the next one.